We're going to introduce our next speaker. He is the executive director of an amazing organization called Hayovel. So this is good. I won't get my face all the time up here. <laughs> I'll get somebody else. Um, he's a good friend. His name is Zach Waller. And Hayovel is a nonprofit organization that brings hundreds of Christian volunteers to the heartland of Israel every year to serve Jewish farmers in Israel. And he has been, and Hayovel in general, his whole family and their whole movement has really been an inspiration to me when it comes to the Temple Mount. And also they work a lot in Samaria and Judea and these regions. And we really feel that at the, at the root of these issues that we're dealing with when it comes to Judea and Samaria is the Temple Mount. So... It's such an honor and a privilege and a blessing to have Zach Waller here. Please make him feel welcome. All right. Thank you, John Drone and the Cry for Zion team. It's really a blessing and an honor to be here. I think I'm going to take my name badge after this and like frame it, put it on my wall so I can remember. I was part of that conference. Remember back then when it all started and this huge thing took place? So I'm, I'm very, very uh, excited to be here and honored to be able to share for a few minutes. <clears throat> um, I guess uh, the question is, why is the Temple Mount important to me? Um, I guess uh, to put it really short, is, um, I believe in God and I believe in the Bible. And it's pretty clear there that uh, this is something I need to be excited about because God is excited about it and uh, God's people should be excited about it. That's just a short answer. <clears throat> The longer answer is that um, I think uh, it's all about relationships, right? It's about coming to know God and who he is. And, um, and uh, as we come to know him, like, how, how do we do that, right? How do we have a relationship with God, this master of the universe? Uh, how do we come to know who he is? And um, my dad, like some, some of you guys know our story. Um, actually took a huge step uh, of faith uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, my dad's Tommy Waller. He's the one who started uh, Hayovel. But he uh, took this relational thing really serious. Uh, he had spent 13 years working for a business called Fellow Express. And he all of a sudden realized that um, his family needed him, that me as his son and my mom, his wife, uh, needed him at home, and that uh, if he continued at the, the pace he was going at, working uh, so many hours at this management position for Express, which was, uh, you know, an American dream uh, thing, it's, 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 it's a, it was the ultimate place to be. He was making lots of money and everything, but the relationships weren't where he felt like they needed to be. And so he made a big decision. He quit his job at Federal Express and took a much uh, less lucrative uh, position as a farmer uh, in Tennessee because he wanted to have a relationship. Uh, with his family. He wanted to be, come home and be dad. And I think God, our Heavenly Father, is, is the exact same way. He wants to have a relationship with us, right? He, he wants to uh, have a home that we can come to, that we can uh, experience him. It was mentioned earlier, a place to be seen and to see. So this is God's house, right? This, that's what it says very clearly in scriptures. It's God's house, a place where we can come uh, to be seen and to see God. Um, all the way back to the Garden of Eden, right? That was the original intent. God wanted us to have a place where we could walk together with him, to be uh, with him in the garden, to fellowship with him. That was God's original intent. Um, and some people ask, you know, how come there's not more written about the creation? You know, this seems like a really huge deal that God created the whole world, and we don't have a whole lot of information on how it happened. It's like a chapter, a little bit more um, about what happened. And I like to liken it to a story of, uh, you know, if I wanted to, to do something really special for my wife, maybe, you know, I've always had this dream to build a little log cabin where she could, you know, or where we could stay in this, this, this really beautiful log thing. I'm from Tennessee, so we have all these trees. And uh, like, I want to build a log cabin. And, uh, and then I could take my sweetheart off too, and we, me and Becca, we could have special times in this cabin. And what if I took her into this cabin and then I said, you know what, that tree right there, it took me about half an hour to chop it down, and the nails I used for it, it took this much time, and, and I just started going through all the details about how I built the cabin. That would just be nonsense, right? No, I built the cabin because I want to spend time with my wife there and have a relationship. 
That's why God made this world. That's why um, he wants, why he created the garden so we could have a relationship with him, right? So to have a relationship, you have to have time and you have to have a place. If I said, I want to meet with you, I want to get to know you, and I said, let's meet at this certain place, but I didn't give you a time, probably wouldn't meet up, right? And if I said, hey, there's a certain place, but I didn't, or at a certain time, but I didn't give you a place, we definitely wouldn't show up at the right spot, right? So God chose a specific place. He chose the Temple Mount here uh, in Jerusalem as the meeting place, as a place where people can come together to see and be seen, to have a relationship with him. And that's why I feel like the Temple Mount is a huge, huge, huge thing. And why I'm so excited to be a part of this conference is because we're talking about relationship with God. We're talking about a place where we can join God in his house for the, for the feast, right? And for me as a Christian, uh, as somebody that has, you know, lived outside of Israel now coming in to join myself to her, the scripture is very clear. I can come and pray in God's house. I can come up for the Feast of Tabernacles. And a little plug here, I can come and harvest grapes on the mountains of Samaria. So that's, what, that's my story. <laughs>